She couldn't handle, he couldn't, like people were moving towards Qabir and Qabir's people were increasing. She people were decreasing because of lust and desires. She then died and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent another prophet who existed at the time of Adam. Guess who? Prophet Idris. Idris in biblical terms is Enoch. But he was just a prophet, he was of a higher rank. He was a Rasul, a messenger of Allah, and he came with a new Sharia. Sharia means a new law. And in his Sharia, he was the first to declare military uh, strategy to fight off corruption against the people of Qabi and that stopped corruption from happening. He was born about 250 years before the death of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. He lived a little bit of the time of Adam alayhi salam. And when Adam alayhi salam died and she, his prophet's son, died, Idris alayhi salam took over. Idris alayhi salam was a tall man, strong build, thick bones, extremely handsome. He had eyes with long eyelashes, they looked like they had been scarred. Idris alayhi salam was quiet, he only spoke when needed. He looked at the ground that had long strides, big strides. He was a thinker, ponderer, and he had a somewhat look on his face that looked almost like he was sad, which meant that he always thought, he was always thinking. And subhanAllah, a very wise man, Idris alayhi salam, was something unbelievable. He was the first to write with the pen, and subhanAllah, Idris alayhi salam, we don't know much about him except what he said in the Quran. Allah said, and related in the book Idris, he was a truthful, honest man who stood up for the truth and he was a prophet. And we lifted him to a very high station, a very high place. Idris, alayhi salam, he, uh, he lived to, to approximately 900 years. 900 years. They used to live very long in those days. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, said that people used to be very big in size and they used to live longer and then as time went on they got shorter and shorter and their lifespan became shorter and shorter and then he was asked what is the lifespan of your ummah of, of us and the Prophet ﷺ said the lifespan of my ummah is approximately generally speaking on average between 60 and 70 years brothers and sisters in Islam Idris السلام, did not actually die on earth there is a hadith in Sahih Muslim and similar to it in Bukhari where the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when he ascended to the heavens in the Isra al Ma'raj, he saw in the fourth heaven, he saw Idris alayhi salam. And they said salam to each other. He said, I saw my brother Idris. What happened to Idris alayhi salam is that he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his soul in the heavens. Where in the heavens? Allah alam. Allah only knows. He was lifted, Allah says in the Quran, He lifted Idris to a high place. And Ibn Abbas and others, and also in the book Tafsir ibn Kathir, he says that he died in a, in a fourth heaven above. Now there are narrations which are fabricated, and some of them are very weak. We don't know where they came from, and some ulama assume that they were Israelite traditions, because they do believe in Idris alayhi salam, that he wanted to visit the heavens. Idris wanted to see up above and beyond. And Allah sent to him an angel, and this angel has wings, and Idris said to this angel, take me up into the heavens. And he took him up, and when he reached the fourth heaven, he met with the angel of death. And the angel of death, uh, he came to take his soul out, and the, the, the other angel says to him, I'm, I just want to show him the heavens and bring him back. He said, subhanAllah, how strange is that God told me to take his soul in the fourth heaven. And I wondered, how am I going to take a soul in the fourth heaven when he's on earth? Now this what I just said is not reliable. These are just stories of the Israelite traditions. And what did we say last time about Israelite traditions? 
the Prophet ﷺ told us, you can read and talk about Israelite traditions as much as you want. However, hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. Do not believe what they say, but don't also deny what they say, so long as they do not oppose any of our beliefs in the Qur'an. Up to this point, brothers and sisters, nobody had worshipped idols, nobody had worshipped anyone other than Allah. Still, up to this point, all of them were still Muslim, believing in one Allah and worshipping only one God, stayed for at least, at least 1,000 years. 1,000 years the time of Adam السلام, and another 1,000 years after him, Idris السلام. When Idris السلام, died, a few hundred years passed and subhanAllah, Allah did not send a prophet or a messenger in that time. No prophet, no messenger was needed. There were only righteous people who were carrying the message of the prophets before and they took the message of Idris and Adam and they had scriptures that had written and they followed the sharia of Enoch, of Idris alayhi salam and people lived in Islam righteous people kept people intact and on the right track however man as Allah says he forgets and denies this is in our nature and Allah had promised Adam alayhi salam and Hawa that when he sent them down on earth he told them you shall be under my watchful eyes. I will look after you and I will continue to bring you guidance to your offspring. I won't leave you alone. And so his messengers and prophets started to be sent. However, these righteous people I told you about, everybody loved them. People honored them tremendously. When they died, somehow, Five of them became the most popular. These five men, their names were Wadd, Suwa', Yahuth, Ya'uq, and Nasr. From them came out idolatry, which made its way all the way, thousands of years later, into Mecca. How did it happen? This is where the shaitan comes in. He gives people ideas. Suddenly he noticed that they love these idols, and he got an idea. The shaitan appeared, the form of a man. And he started coming to these people who loved these righteous men and they said, why don't you make an anniversary every year where you remember these people? You know, it's good da'wah. People remember righteous people. They remember what they left behind. So far, so good. Year after year, they started to commemorate their death. Then another generation came where their ignorance got worse. And Shaitan said, why don't you like build statues out of them so that people can remember them even more? And the people built statues, they said, what a great idea. And so they generate another generation passed, a hundred years or so, and the shaitan then said, your forefathers were very knowledgeable. They must have left these idols behind, these statues, for a reason. You should give them offerings to commemorate, like bring some food, put them there, or give them out in the names of these statues to honor them, and God will love you more because God loves them. And man takes it. Human beings take anything that sounds, I don't know, obscure. They turned these five idols into gods. And they started to worship them outright. And disbelieved in Allah and any message of Idris and Adam. And for the first time, Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad.